Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I'm really excited. Like, I'm really, really excited to be back uh, posting videos each and every day, though I skipped a day the other day by accident. And um, I'm just happy. Please motivate us by giving us stuff to react to drop them down below or go to our social media facebook and instagram funny and jesse hit us up and we'll be more than glad to react to whatever you guys want us to react to i really hope you guys are doing all right i may stay blessed um also you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out or check out my blog um morning coffee with funny and just vibe of the positive vibes that i'm putting out there so today i'm actually going to be reacting to airplanes or is it airplanes can't fly over kaba truth has finally been revealed i'm actually shocked i don't trust titles because titles always do the most so what we're going to do is react to this so without wasting time let's get into the video then we'll get um, we'll give feedback. So let's get into it Why don't airplanes fly over Holy Kaaba in Mecca? The Holy Kaaba is not just a building. It is the holy building and the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth It is respected by all the Muslims and we shall clear all the controversies regarding it there are two views about it. The view of Professor Ibrahim Ahmed Makari is One should also know that the Qaaba is also the Earth's light. Both of the houses of Allah Almighty, there is the house on the world, Holy Kaaba, and the house in the skies, Al Baitul Ma'amur, are perpendicular to each other. The light coming from Kaaba reaches the Baitul Ma'amur. Allahu Akbar. View number one According to Professor Ibrahim Ahmed Makari, no planes fly over the Holy Kaaba because there is no airport in the city of Mecca. Why there is no airport in the city of Mecca? It is one of the cities of the world which tends to grab the most tourists throughout the year. The Hajj and Umrah pilgrims have to reach Mecca to offer their rituals. So why it is that the Saudi authorities did not build an airport there? Well, it isn't that they cannot afford an airport there or so, but if you recall the wonders of the world, one of the wonders is that the Holy Kaaba is located in the center of the world. Yes, it is exactly in the middle of the earth, not an inch left or right. So if you have gone through some basic physics, you must know that the earth is actually a gravitational field, and that the center of such a field has the most gravity and is the hub of magnetic charge. So being the magnetic center, the layers of the earth about which creates vacuum upon them, because of the vacuum, the airplanes naturally cannot fly over them. So you see, that is the reason that city of Mecca is not equipped with an airport. The science has already claimed that planes cannot fly over the Holy Kaaba due to the magnetic field that is created over it, as it is at the center of the earth. Surely Allah is the greatest of all the planners. View number two. There is another view of the people and they don't believe in the first view. They consider it a myth and believe that the only reason airplanes don't fly over the Holy Kaaba is a mere fact that it is a non-flying zone. They believe that Saudi government has not allowed anyone airplane to fly over the Holy Kaaba. We have seen security helicopters flying over the Holy Kaaba during Hajj and Ramadan. If there is a magnetic field and airplanes cannot cross that field, how can helicopters fly there? Do birds fly over the Kaaba? There is no reality behind the claim that birds don't or can't fly over the Holy Kaaba. Many people have seen different birds flying over and above the Holy Kaaba many times. So what do you think is the correct reason why airplanes don't fly over Holy Kaaba? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, then press the like button and share it to your friends and family. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Subscribe our Sense Islam YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Oh, 
know what to think because two views are given what do you do with those two views do you want to believe that because of gravity do you want to believe that the government hasn't allowed it um so it's just the planes that are forbidden but helicopters can i don't get it who's moving in those helicopters is what i would love to ask um otherwise they both make sense to me honestly speaking they both make sense to me you don't want to be deep in prayer and then something disturbs you so the government could have a hand in say no this is a holy place we don't want anything disturbing it the government has that power the gravity has anyone um actually proved that if a plane flies there gravity will take a toll or it's just science doing its science thing and saying without actually providing proof of saying okay this actually went down or this went bananas when something flew over otherwise regardless of the two views reasons i think it's only right that nothing flies over because like i said i wouldn't want to be disturbed I wouldn't want to be distracted and all the noise sometimes because back home I live near the airport and the noise that comes with planes taking off, planes landing, the, there's some sort of sound that disturbs places you know otherwise if it's the biggest tourist um, attraction in the country or one of the biggest tourist country, uh, attractions in the country I feel like they, they haven't put an airport because um, so that they regulate where tourists land because someone landing also is actually going to create money for the government because they're going to want to spend wherever they land and they're going to have to spend to make their way to mecca which is a big uh, not big but good strategy you know and i don't know it's a business strategy to me that's how it looks like but either way either way whichever thing goes keep holy places holy don't disturb anyone and life moves on otherwise let me know what you guys think i'm sure there are other theories out there what do you think is the reason as to why this is the situation so make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video